Hey guys, King of North here, and we are going to go over how to change your kingdom or the uh, base games, uh, native kingdoms in game uh, with using just a uh, XML file and not overriding um, or using any code to override anything else. All right, so as you can see here, I have the native kingdoms set up as um, my custom kingdom for my mod. So you can do the same thing. And it's pretty simple, so let's go ahead and jump to our modules folder. Alright, so here we are. I went ahead and created a uh, module for you guys. So it's going to be called Kingdom Editor. And so we have our sub-module and we have our module data folder. So let's go ahead and open our module data folder. And let's uh, open up the XML that we have in here. And I would name this one test uh, underscore SP Kingdom. All right, so right off the bat, we can see the kingdoms that we are replacing and or overriding um, in our game. So we have the uh, native kingdoms there. So anything that we edit here will change in game without changing any of the native files. So if we start, we'll use the empire for example, and we can see that there's the owner, so there's the ID for the Lord banner. So we can go to uh, there's a bunch of uh, Bannerlord Reddit uh, banners that you guys can pull and paste in here if you want to replace the banner for this kingdom. Uh, the primary color and secondary banner colors. I haven't played too much with these. I would leave these alone and just go with whatever the custom banner is. Um, but that's completely up to you. Um, then we have our label color. I don't really play with that too much. Uh, but the color and color two, these two I do utilize a lot. And you can actually use a few Bannerlord native hex colors as a reference on the uh, website that I'll list here and I'll uh, leave a link in the description but these are some of the hex colors that you can use for your um, kingdom colors which is really cool all right so I'll leave a link for that in the description uh, alternative colors I haven't played too much with those um, but then we have our cultures so if you wanted to change the cultures to these you can um, I wouldn't suggest it just for the native cultures I would leave these alone um, but when it comes to the names and the short names and the title uh, the ruler title the text you know, that pops up whenever you go to the kingdom um, option in the encyclopedia uh, all this will be there so yeah and all the stuff you can change so the veil you can change to the bananas and uh, we'll just copy that and we'll uh, save it. Warden of the Bananas and Kingdom of the Mountain and Bananas. Or the Bananas. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and save this. And let's close this out and start our game and see what we got. And also, just so you guys see as well, so we see we have test underscore SP kingdoms. If we go to our submodule XML, because remember I told you this is the the main uh, conductor, we see that it's pulling this XML file. So if you wanted to, any other uh, files that you're playing with that you have in your module folder, you can combine them by adding them to one submodule and then running both of the um, folders together in one file. So, just some fun things if you want to do and play around with. So yeah, we'll close that out and launch our game. Alright, so we'll skip through here. And there we go. So we have the bananas. <laughs> and there we go. The Kingdom of Mountain and Bananas, or the Bananas, is one of the independent kingdoms of Westeros. So there you go, guys. <laughs> you can change and edit your kingdom's text there, and uh, who rules your kingdoms, and all that fun stuff in there. All right. So this one is a little bit more useful and, and fun to play with. So I'll leave you with something juicy. All right. King out.